Hey, what's going on, guys? I got this uh, bug assault assault gun, and uh, the main reason I want to talk about it is because we're here in PA, we're having a problem with the spotter and lantern fly, and I think it's affecting 10 or 12 other states, mainly on the East Coast. The problem with the spotter and lantern fly is it's killing the environment, and whenever you see one, it's supposed to kill it on site immediately. So, a lot of people might not want to squash a bug or might not have something to kill it with. That's why I recommend using this sucker. This thing's a blast. Um, I probably bought this about six months ago, maybe even longer. I never really used it until now, because now I got a reason. And it's a lot of fun. It takes about two shots to probably kill a spotter lantern fly. Um, regular flies in general, they take about one shot, leaves no mess. They just fall instantly. And I would say the uh, the distance for probably a kill shot, for me anyways, is about probably three to five feet away from the actual target you're going for. And again, it doesn't really leave a mess, and it's super easy. All you do is lift this reservoir, pop the salt in there. And it's got a good safety too, so if you have kids around, this has to be pumped, and the switch has to be front facing. Those two things have to be done, and the pump has to be left up here, and then it'll fire. Um, I have no targets at the moment, so I can't uh, demonstrate on an insect because it's a good thing there's no insects out here right now. But I'll pull the trigger, and it fires. Again, this has to be pumped, put up all the way, and this switch has to be up all the way here. Otherwise, it's not going to fire at all. It's a good little safety. This way, if you have kids around, it's not going to go off. And again, if you pump it and have it up, the switch is not up, so it won't fire. Switch has to be up. This has to be pumped forward. Fire. Disclosure, if you do shoot yourself with it, it's going to hurt. <laughs> uh, maybe as a little... A little buzz one night and I tried that out and it doesn't really leave a mess the only time it's left a mess is again I came home pretty late there was a fly in the house and I probably fired this about 10 15 times because I couldn't kill the fly and uh, the next day when I woke up I was like oh man there's salt everywhere and it dawned on me that oh yeah I was running around shooting this and couldn't get that fly <laughs> but uh just for killing insects in general that are pests, I'd recommend getting this one. It does come at a steep price tag now though. It's uh, about 50 bucks on Amazon, which is probably the price on Walmart and yada yada. Uh, so it's a bit steep of, of a price, but if you don't mind spending that much money, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I'd highly recommend it for killing your pests or insects. But uh, you guys have a great day.